Uh, and so welcome. And I, that was my, my next question was um, Alyssa right, right ahead of me. Um, just wanted, because I, I think I'm seeing familiar names, but I would just want to check because sometimes when we just have first names, it, it, you know, when they're common, common ish first names, then I shouldn't assume. So, um, if you haven't done so yet and want to say hi and where you're from in the chat, and if you're new to Zentangle or just new to us, we would like to know that too. And that is good because I think somebody earlier, it's, I don't know if they were new, new, because they didn't, they never said until like, what was that like almost all the way through? And it's like, you know, imagine doing this as a newbie. And I'm like, oh no, did you not say? And then they didn't answer. <laughs> like, that's why I asked. Because I want to make sure to, you know, uh, kind of slow down a little bit or at least, you know, be, be aware. So, uh, so like I said, so if you're new, put it in the chat, that would be awesome. And, um, and everyone else, they just get to start thinking for, for next, next week as to, uh, what title that you want to name yourself when you log in. <laughs> or it could be like that thing they have on Facebook every once in a while. <clears throat> your, your, um, uh, your renaissance name is the color shirt you're wearing and the last thing you ate. Oh gosh. Like, uh, <laughs> what did we have? We had, we had paninis for lunch and I'm wearing an aqua. So I would be Lady Aqua Panini. <laughs> Oh, okay, we're gonna have to do that. That would be really funny. <laughs> but we ha I'll have to put it out in the notice ahead of time, so that way, as people log in, because otherwise, you have to go go out and come back. And oh my gosh, that's hysterical! Ah, all right. So we're gonna do snack, and let me put the links in the chat. <laughs> Peanut butter pillows, leaf green. <laughs> that's funny. Oh my God! It's, it's even funnier if you put Lord or Lady in front. Oh, of it. you know, yes. it's got to be Lady. Yes, yes, Lady, Lady peanut, peanut butter, butter pillow pillows. pillows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and you have to say it with a certain like rhythm or something. Picturing or English, yourself an English accent, and if you're from the UK, you you got us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll apologize in advance. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so funny. <clears throat> okay, yes, we could we could certainly have fun with that, you know. And and maybe you know, <laughs> see, had we had we thought about this ahead of time, being that like today is snack, because yeah, you could put you know not just what you ate last, but your favorite snack or the last snack you had, and that would be funny. <laughs> so. Lady Sky Blue Seaweed Stew. <laughs> or, or your favorite or least favorite tangle. Uh, yeah, there we go. That would be Ladies Night Bridge. <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay. Oh, that's so funny. All right, we're going to get serious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I will, and, and being that we, I didn't see anybody that said that they are new to us, so everybody knows, well, actually, for the recording, you can work on whatever you want. Um, I, I actually, I, well, no, because it was just me this morning. So it would have been silly if I said, you can follow me or follow mom. Yeah. <laughs> follow either one of us or, or, or a little of both. <laughs> and, um, oh, my gosh. Um, but yeah, let me share my screen. And then we will, we will look through these tangles. And of course, you uh, by sharing all of the extra information and artwork from uh, Thomas, uh, um, and I didn't say this, it's CZT Thomas Pedros, uh, who designed this, and um, you know, give you give you some ideas on how you might want to do this. All right, so on the screen right now is snack as it is, and. Um, Yes, and Catherine, you have it exactly. That's when I, yeah, when I looked at it first, when it, when uh, they first, when she first, when Linda first sent that out on Tangle Patterns, I'm like, because the picture, which we'll show in a minute for everyone, it, it does, it looks like brains or intestines or something. And I'm just like, oh, okay, this will be great for Halloween. I'm going to add this to the spooky tangles. 
And because um, I mean, you could make it look more so um, or less. So it starts off with uh, a little, a little, well, no, say a big dot or a little filled in orb. And one of the things that I think it was Kelly earlier suggested, because I did my, I did one in a border and I just did them individually. One of the things that she thought, and I haven't tried it yet, was you could put these, put the dots and spread them out as you would want them. So that way you could be, you know, assured that uh, you, you would have it more how you want it versus I was just kind of winging it, which is good. Um, but so, if, but we'll, we'll go with the way he has it and then you can always modify it uh, as you see fit. So, and this can be really in one step. So filled in orb and then coming around like a spiral, but it's really like a fancy S. So coming around and then do the S part, crossing over and then landing um, with a dot in the middle. Then we're gonna put a couple curve lines and then he's got a bunch of, uh, of uh, variations that you could do on this. So it's a little curve line connecting that the top curve that we started with to the center where it crosses over and we do that on both sides. And then if you want, you could add some rounding into those little crevices and and then we add shading. And then I did the play, I, I just kind of put it all in, in a pile and I added some of the uh, decorating ideas that he had, but we'll show that in a, in a moment. So to complicate matters, he because he does, and, and, and we love him for this, um, he, he put snack as a fragment. So you where you could do this in a grid form. So this would be one box in the grid and you would divide it diagonally. And now this is where I, and I still, it's like, I, I you just have to think a little bit on this one. So where you're starting with your dot and the dot part could be, you know, kind of in the center and then which side to go to. If you air draw it and it's like, okay, here's the big, here's that first curve I start and thinking if you've done the tangle and zeppel, thinking and zeppel is like, okay, I'm starting here. I'm going to touch this side and then touch this side and then come down and touch the, um, the dividing line. And yeah, and then that, that's kind of sort of it. Except then we're we're gonna round all of the all of the quarters. So it was just for me because I kept trying to put it on the wrong side, where I was doing the same shape, but it was on the opposite side. And it's like I couldn't I wouldn't be able to go anywhere with it. So I'll 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 demonstrate it and then you'll you'll see more. But it's just if you if you try it beforehand, just be careful of how you put those little curve lines. But it's really neat looking. All right, so here is. Uh, this is from, and I put this, I put both links. This is from Tangle Patterns, and it's the same. You can see this, and I can't remember if this was on his uh, Instagram. The other stuff is on there, so I'll, I'll share that there. But yeah, this is the one that looks like, it looks like a brain that's, you know, on splat. This is your brain on drugs. That's what that looks like. Cause the, and the, the little orbs are si the sizzles <laughs> from those old commercials. Um, and then this shows how, I mean, neatly done in an orb. And this one I haven't attempted yet either. I forgot the name of that one. Um, I wanted to play with it to figure it out. Um, and then he adds in more possibilities. So doing it in a border, doing it in a border, but mirroring it. Um, and then just dec decorating it differently. You're fitting it into a triangle. Well, this would be more of a, oh, what do they call that? Uh, uh, equilateral triangle versus what he what you do here it's still a triangle it's just they're not equal i don't think they're equal sides are they well it depends on how good you are at drawing the square <laughs> and dividing it <laughs> okay so let me this is a little bit bigger which is like a, how why i like to show the instagram a little cleaner so we've seen this and this so this is a little closer up so yeah you can decorate it however you want i like this with the little spots um, this aura ing in the center, and then if you get the shading just right, it makes it look um, like beveled. And this one, I think, oh no, no rounding on, oh no rounding on any of these ones down here. It looks like, um, 
but you know, adding just a little line at the bottom. It, it's just interesting how different the same thing can look depending on how you decorate it. This one looks like a worm. Or or two worms. <laughs> but um and let's oh I forgot I have to click this way. And then again using it as a filler and you know you can put orbs in behind it. Um I don't understand why that okay that says a filler. Oh wait. Looks confusing. Uh-huh. Well, it looks like he just did the F shapes first. Uh-huh. And then came back afterwards and did all of the little curved lines. I would I, I do it all at once. So that's interesting. I didn't hmm. And then this is the way I would have the, the way I've done it is I you know do the full thing and, and pack them in. And then you can, you know, uh if you could just try to do a half, it, it does. Well, see, I'm rather thinking of it as cashews. I like that better. And there's a closer up of the border idea. And closer up of the fragment and that. And then this, which uh, Linda earlier was brave to try this, but she has some hexagon uh, shaped tiles. So that's what she used. Um, and so I'm going to guess, let's see. Well, it's the same thing as before, because I was like, I don't even want to think about how you would do this, but I guess it's just, it's the same thing as, as the triangle that we tried. So, and then this is interesting. So these you have to like look at for a while and figure it out. So, so there we go. All right, so mom's decided on that one. Oh, that one could turn out neat because you have those little splotches. In yeah, that's what I thought. Bigger. I would try to enhance them. <laughs> we shall this... see what happens. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm I'm going to start with. Um, I'm just well, and maybe I'll do it. Try it in the border again. Um, I don't know. Or not. I maybe I'll just do a pile of them again, and and then I'll do the uh, the one in a grid in case anybody wants to do that. Maybe I'll switch back and forth that way. It's all it's all covered. So all right. So this one, and did I do this before? Oh, I did. I made it. I made a giant one in the middle, and I think I'll do that again because that was kind of fun. Oh, but maybe on the diagonal. Mm, mm, mm. No, not. Okay, so I'm just gonna do it as I have been doing it. So, orb. And if I'm gonna do it bigger, I might as well make a bigger orb. And I, I still am having to look. Because I was, I end up not adding the spiral part in, and that's where I have been frustrating myself. So, so I, as I'm kind of uh, filling in, going in, a, I'm, and this is me going in a counterclockwise, whoops, uh, direction, and then I just spin it off of there, go into that spiral of the top S, and then come down, top of the S, and then come down. And like that. And I seem like he had one variation as well that had more of a spiral on the inside than just, a, you know, a little. And I think I'm kind of leaning towards that more of a spiral than just kind of like a, a curve line. All right. And I can see how you could do it either way. Oh, and what did we didn't focus on? Where did they go? Oh, no. I, yeah, I didn't focus on that. Uh, let me share again really quick. Um, the Where he says here, create your own snack. So he shows the differences in, in that um, last step. So that curve line. So like here, he takes the curve line all the way, almost going into... Um, the bottom part of the S. And so that creates a really neat slope. 
And then this, like this one, but this is going to depend on how you do your S. So this one, the the crossover part, is that right? Am I looking at it right? Yeah, is more look like more like a five, where that middle is is more um, is not on a slant. Oh, and then the, the middle one is where he has much more of a spiral. And then also, this is where I was seeing it. So then the curve line coming down, he has it lined up with this last line. So it's the same uh, width on both. Because I remember going back and I couldn't find where that was um, that he had done that. And uh, that's it right there. And then this one looks a little bit more like normal, but except it's just, this is like my kind of S, wonky. And then this one where he, he does a, a bigger curve line, you know, bulging out the side. So it's just a testimony that you can do it however you want uh, to do it. And, um, oh, but no, yeah, but uh, Luna says, uh, I wish she had heard the conversation around um, the chat. Oh, you or it inside the S curves. And yeah, and so you can, where is that? Like right here in the decorate part, this one, that's what he did is inside did an aura or I mean, you could call it an aura or just a line on the inside. But yeah, so what's nice is whatever happens, happens. It's all good. And, you know, and then just have have fun with it. And it, it, this is one that you don't even have to do anything consistently either. Like a lot of times when we have a, I'm feeling like I want to do, a, oh, you know what? I'm going to try to do that more elongated. That's what I'm going to do. That. And I'm going to flip it so that way I can see what I'm, I just can't, for whatever reason, my brain is not um, seeing it if I do it upside down. So. Oh, oh, and so, yeah, and so Alyssa probably got it more than me. That, 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 that's the first part that Luna was talking about. Uh, heard the conversation around the chat. Yes, we, <laughs> we were having fun. Um, that looks really neat with those, Mom. That, is that, they're yeah. yellow? So they're like yellow Cheetos. They're like what? Yeah, yeah. Yellow Cheetos. Yellow Cheetos. <laughs> Because that's what I was thinking that it reminded me of was Cheetos. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, at, I'm, I'm encircling. And, and fortunately, a lot of these blotches were like two together. Okay. So, I, I, you know, so that's what I'm doing. Now I just have to figure out what to do with the rest of them. <laughs> You know, you could almost have fun with two colors. If you have like dark on the yellow. Hmm. Dark on the yellow. <laughs> no, but Luna, you uh, Luna, you have to put lady in front of it. Lady <laughs> Bernie stained white plum. <laughs> See, it, it, it takes on a... <laughs> Uh, it, 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 it <laughs> a lot more. Yeah, because let's see, I, what would I be, um, what was it? Yeah. Yeah. You could, uh, you could change it around, too. You could have what you ate first and what color you're wearing. Well, there you go. It. Yeah, so it could be, mine could be Lady Panini Wa Aqua. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, it's kind of interesting. And then I'm I'm working to uh, not have them all. At first, I was having like they seemed like they were all going the same direction, but it's kind of hard to you know not have all of these things pointing in uh, when I was doing the other one. Maybe I'm going to do a table. I don't know. <laughs> but um, make sure to do, okay, do that. I mean, I, I want to do this the way that I've been doing it. It's not that there's a right way or a wrong way. 
But yeah, this is just, oh, you know what this just all of a sudden made me think of? Remember those twisted glazed donuts that we used to get? Now you're making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was yours because yours is, it has, kind of has that color. <laughs> yeah, it does. They look, they, oh, yes, the ones that came in in like an S shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. it was, yeah, they, yes. yeah, they kind of have the two round mm -hmm. on the edge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we're all gonna go run out. <laughs> no, this is this is low calorie eating because just thinking about it, that's it. <laughs> yeah, just deciding which direction. That is the hardest thing that I have about uh, doing anything like this. That's random. Is um, deciding what direction to to do something in next. And this one, you know, once you get the hang of it, then you, you it's nice because then you don't have to think about it anymore. You just keep going. And um Lady Crueler. <laughs> That's funny. Um and actually, so I, what I'm going to do, in case anyone is trying, and hopefully, um, and if you are, hopefully having uh, great success. Oh, and I think I'm going to do it just because it's been a while. Do I want to do it with the white? Sure, I do. Yes. All right. So I'm going to, well, let's see. How big of a grid do I want to do? Apparently this big. <laughs> Moving this pen too fast for itself. See it leaving little droplets of ink. You're starting another one? Well, I'm going to do the, I want to do the grid one. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So I'm going to just do a really big one. Because this way, too, if somebody wants to try it, I don't want to get the other one, like, all the way done and then leave anybody hanging. Okay. Yeah, this is going to look nice. Okay. All right. And I think I will do the same. So because it's a fragment and it's diagonal, you could choose how you want your diagonals to go. They could either all go the same direction or I'm going to do it like I did the one earlier and have it alternate because that's fun. Okay. Then, right. That's what I said. You know, I said. I said air draw. So I was like, okay, I'm going to start with my orb here. And then if I come around like that, really, this one's almost like putting in a giant spiral. Um, yeah. Oh, Catherine's asking, when your micron pens dry out, have you added India ink by taking off the end cap? No. I haven't. Has anybody else tried that? Because I know that the, the, the thing on the end comes off, but I've heard of I've heard of people doing that. Oh. I don't know, you know, the ink that's in these is archival. And I don't know if India ink would uh is the same or not okay but i have you know heard of people doing that oh. hmm. i actually not not too long ago there was a huge long post and it might have been on this certified teachers 
post. Yeah. Um, with everybody chiming in on, on what they did, somebody, they asked, you know, what pens do you like the best or whatever. And, and, uh, a lot the, well, the opinions differed, obviously. Yeah. Um, and it, it came down yeah. to, you know, most of them like the microns and it was too much bother to mess with doing all of that. <laughs> they were cheap enough, and you know, if they stop working, you just throw them away and get another one. Right, <laughs> right. And what it came down to. Yeah, and both Alyssa, yeah, Alyssa and Jen, and 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 me as well. It's like, yeah, I run out of nib, but I know that there's the there's a, the other brand that where you can buy the refillable, you can replace the nibs and all of that, and um, you know, and I'm sure that it's you know cost effective and at some point. Yeah, I have not tried that. And somebody okay. said they loved using a dip type pen and a fountain pen, and, oh, mm -hmm. you know. And then for a while, you kept, I kept seeing people that were using these glass pens. Yeah, those look neat. It'd be neat to just they try. Look neat. Yes, yeah. but then I like, like, yeah, that's one going to be one of those looks neat, but mm. <laughs> and uh, oops, I dropped it. Oh well, right. there it goes. Right. And yeah, for anyone that's doing the grid, so I start off with just putting the, you know, the dot and then the curve line in the right direction. And I'm just doing the alternate one so that way I'll get those done. Then the step after this is we just round the corners of, of uh, well, all of the corners and also this one. So where you did that first curve line, we kind of curve it out the other direction like so and fill in there. That's that. Yeah, but I remember seeing those, yeah, those glass spiral um, pens. It seemed like pretty. Yeah, when the um when the spirographs had hit their uh, the craze again, um, especially with tanglers, uh, I, I just remember somebody doing that was using those pens, you know, and doing the spirograph, I think. That's that that Either that or I just ended up seeing them at the same time and it's all connected in my head. And let's see. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah. And Catherine, yeah, that's why some would, yeah, would uh, definitely, you know, use those those other pens, you know, that are refillable. Yeah, just to keep, you know, all of that, you know, out, out of uh, landfills unless they're using, like, the... Uh, yeah, I'll have to see what uh, what they're made out of, because there is there is a uh, plastic substances that's actually made out of uh, from vegetables. I remember seeing my ketchup was it ketchup bottle Heinz bottles that said that, and I was just like, is it gonna? <laughs> How long will it hold its shape for? Was what I was wondering. <laughs> it's like, is ketchup's made from vegetables too? Will it just merge? I was being silly. But yeah, this has a neat effect, and I'm thinking you, you know, uh, shading it with the uh, embossing concept, and that would look kind of neat. That's what I all of a sudden thought. Well, I have to do this in the white so I can do that. You know, I partly wonder what this would look like if you took it all the way out, like N. Zeppel, because I remember um, it was a long time ago doing N. Zeppel and somebody just saying, well, you could just, you know, round those corners and then you have it, but you it misses the whole when you trace over. Yeah, you need to reinforce that line. It adds yeah. something to it. Yeah, yeah, it really does. And while I've got it in my head, <laughs> all right, then flip it. Then when you flip it, you just have, I just have to remember doing it in the opposite direction, you know, it, thinking in, in the box. So these are, they're like two little fescues. Yeah, 
then we just ground. This one will have some neat shapes, um, probably more in the corners because like in, in the center, there's only four rounded, but in the corner, so like if I had done a bigger grid, this would create kind of like a star or something. Yeah, one, two, three, four, three, four, five. Oh, it have eight points, so that could look kind of neat. And then it helps to do one one box at a time. So because I, I keep missing, it's like, oh no, I have to do this little bit too. Mm -hmm. And it's neat because I just have to stop looking at the lines and look at the overall pattern. Da, da, da. Voila! I said I'm looking at it in the picture. It is neat. It's just giant. So I think some shading would be good. And yeah. Hmm. <laughs> That's where do, there you are. There you are. Let's see. <laughs> Demi added in to um <laughs> Lady Supreme uh, Arabiata of watermelon. Yes. Oh yeah, she yeah, adding the of in there. Oh yeah. that's right. Yeah. That could be what you drink, your, your yeah. color, your food, and of what you drink. <laughs> In the end, I didn't drink anything interesting, so. <laughs> oh, that is great. That's everybody's homework for next week. <laughs> oh, and I'm just going to try that. So. Let me just flip here. Um, so that way I would get to it a little bit. So the shading, I'm going to look back. because I mean, there was kind of some different things that he did. And of course, you know, we can use our imagination. And it depends on how you decorated it, too. But looking back here. So it's kind of neat to have some, like, at the top of the grid uh, of the uh s and i'm looking yeah and so top and then the top here and then you know it's kind of like what i'm going to do with the embossing it's kind of like you pick a direction you know, so like here i'm looking at it this way and it's top 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 you know we're you know in relation to the lines and it's like a good place to start and then you can just go from there <clears throat> you know and i kind of like staying a little bit away from the edge i didn't do that so much on this one let's see how that <laughs> That's funny, Demi. <laughs> oh, so that 
I know it's kind of weird. I just realized I eat color dominant. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> they say eat all your colors. Yeah, but I eat one color at a time. So I eat all everything green all the time. So I was thinking, hmm, I probably get inspired. I want something green to eat, and then everything is green. Oh. You know what, what I'm going to do with, with mine here is, um, you know, because the nice thing about Zentangle is, is we don't have to worry about the light source or anything. Uh, but I do like to, it's like, so I'm looking at it this way and I'm doing, you know, the t uh, or underneath the top line. Oh, and then, oh, I could put a little bit under here. So I'm like looking at the, the lines like here, here, maybe not necessarily right there. But just looking at the lines of putting some graphite underneath well, until I got to the bottom. Never mind. I'm not being very consistent. <laughs> Let's see. What was... Oh. Oh, I see why. But that's okay. It still ends up looking at neat. It doesn't matter if you're consistent or not. <laughs> Let's see. I've you <laughs> prefer to put I've used a Yonkers pen, but that's a typo. <laughs> Autocorrect, yeah. Yonkers. Huh. Well, that's interesting. And I, oh, I see. Because I'm looking at the at one of the the one of the borders because I like the shading on it of his, and so I'm I'm emulating that, and so I'm that's why I keep going back, going, oh yeah, that's what I meant to do. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, not so bad. Mine look like little donuts flying all over. <laughs> and Cinnabons I have because I put print on there. So Yeah. And so then you have to make sure to put some white frosting on them. Oh, I, you know what? Because I was going to, I was thinking of doing some white highlights. So it's very necessary. <laughs> And yeah, Roberta, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to check out that, yeah. Euchre's pen. And let's see. Shading here. Oh, this doesn't seem to want to move graphite on this gray tile. Maybe I need a new tortilla. Maybe. I'll get quiet. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh no! So 
<laughs> Alyssa's done the done a brain. <laughs> I'll just say save it for Halloween. I think that's one of the few categories that I actually got done on my website was spooky tangles. Because I managed to get it done before we did a, a spooky tangles session. And um, so I'll have to add this to it. And then coming with this. Hey, mom has must have run somewhere to get something. What? Oh, I thought maybe you ran to get something because you're quiet and you're not doing well, anything. I, 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 had a, I had a text I had to answer. I need oh, to. Oh, well. <laughs> well. <laughs> Oh wow! I just looked at that it. That was the really camera. good. Oh. Is that what you were wowing about? Yeah, I just looked at the thing. It's like, wow, look at how that looks. <laughs> you know what helps too now, in addition to that, is coming back with a like your O one or even a O O five, and and putting a dark line next to the white, between the the graphite and the white. Yeah, it really defines it when okay. you do that. I feel like I tried it. Well, I'm gonna try with the 005 because the one time I tried it, I was like, "Oh, that looks like it's too thick." And then, um, oh, that's not in there. So we'll try that. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. We thought you were making. Uh, yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah, I thought you were making some glaze for your donuts. Mm. Time to make the donut. Well, hi, Jennifer. <laughs> um, no, actually, Jennifer, this is the same one. And let me know if you need me to put the links in again. This is it done in a grid. So as a, um, what do you call it? As Rag a fragment. Yeah. And so this is, I did it earlier on this. And yeah, it, it sort of looks different because it's kind of squattier. But um, this, I decided to do it big and only do four boxes instead of doing more. But really, I mean, you know, they say this one, if you were to think of it like M Zeppel wise, it's like, you know, oh, I could, you could, you know, start your, uh, start with your orb, come around here and then trace over the sides. Um, you know, down the diagonal and then come back around. So that's what your S would be, you know, more triangular. And then you could still fill in the little corners. This is just kind of cheating it. All right, let's see. Fingers crossed.
It has to be the OO. OO5. Or it could have been the the, um, the one that I was using, you know, if the tip was a little flat. Then I suppose it would have looked thicker. I don't know, maybe we'll have to make this for August doing this in the embossing oh, just don't go into the white line yeah because there some some of them are just easier to do you know what I mean mm -hmm. than, than others yeah yeah and thanks Catherine yeah 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 uh, Jennifer yeah you, you have to you have to really look and I suppose you know, it, well, even when it's smaller, I mean, you kind of see it. It's just because it's more elongated, um, like more squattier than the other shape. Because yeah, I think last time we, we, we kind of did this, but we mixed it in with a bunch of other things. I think we mixed in doing gems and this embossing and something else so it'd probably be um, good to just focus on one thing Did it all? I think it did. Oh yes, I just that that yeah, that refines it. So neat. So did you like that big crayon that I sent you the picture? Of? Yeah. Is he gonna love that? <laughs> it's one of those you never know. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it was Michael's. Oh that they okay. that. and they had they had they had smaller ones, they had like a whole set with different colors, and they were it was, so it's all chunks of different shades of whatever the color was. Um, and this is like crayon instead of colored pencils. So oh, okay. we'll see. I, I figured I'll, I'm going to take it out and I'll play with it and then we'll see what he does. Now, <laughs> did you have this before and just find it again or you just got it? No, I just got it. Oh, okay. This auntie loves to spoil her nephew. Yes, I do. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you. You might want to bring back some of your die cuts oh. Sunday because he was <laughs> uh, very involved in the, the machine, you know. Okay. Getting it to work and everything. And I don't have any neat ones that, you know, he would like. Okay. So I'm leaving that up to you. You know, that same folder you brought, he probably would like that. Oh, did I take that home with me? Oh, yes. Nice. Remember, because I said I wasn't going to do any die cuts. I was just going to yeah. concentrate on just um, the embossing for that. Right. Yes. Okay. Oh, I you know this is so funny. It's like I keep saying I didn't want them to all point in the same direction here. Or, you know, emanating from one place, but that's just what it is. Just have to add other ones in. But it is kind of neat having this where it just kind of, oh my goodness, look at the time. <laughs> that where it, uh, you know, comes down where the other one I did, I did more of a, just the, just the curve line. 
you know, more of a C shape in there. And um, yeah, this definitely looks more like those donuts. I can just see the bakeries now saying, why is everybody rushing in here buying these swirly donuts? <laughs> if you're having a run on it, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so one thing I haven't had the courage to try is having my, you know, doing this mirrored. So like doing, uh, having the spiral go the other direction. I don't have enough trouble getting it to just go the one that would, After doing it one way, it would take some thought. Yeah, yeah. So neat. Oh my goodness. Well, and I didn't even decorate any of them the way he did. I kind of think that it's neat this way. I think oh no, it was on my on my step out. I I uh, did some you know, different ones uh, throughout. Okay, I'm gonna do one sideways now. Then big reveal time. And Some shaded, some not so shaded. That piece to resistance there. Yay. Love it. All right. So I'm so excited to see what everybody did. <laughs> Yours is kind of glare. Oh, there we go. Yeah, when you put your hands in front, then we can see. But um, oh, yeah. That looks neat. Oh, Alyssa the Great. That is great. Oh, and you did it on a, on a prep tile, too. So that's, look at that. How neat. Oh. Her colors are prettier than mine. That's why <laughs> she's the great. <laughs> nice. And, Deb, I like that with the, um, yeah, in the triangles oh, looks like, like that. Looks like Diane. Diane oh. did uh, a colored one. It looks like she followed the color pattern yeah. too i can't tell for sure yeah oh oh neat 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 oh look at how fancy whose is that is that is tom's in the center there and carla i like that did you do like looks like polka dots very neat oh and show me like yours too i like everybody's is this everybody that's getting on so i know <laughs> Is it? Is it? Okay, I'm gonna guess. It might make mine look a little bit nicer there. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, hold on steady. All right. I got it, and then I pasted it. Okay. So let me share. And, oops. Oh no, I got yours, Jen. When you were putting it back up, I was like, Oh no, wait, did I miss it? No, I got it. And I, you did the the ones where you had the the, um, the bigger curve line. Oh, let me share. That's you know sticking out more, and that has such a neat look. And Kim's look like I, I'm trying to think. The I like the way you shaded them like that. It looks like a. It's like I can, you can see it's still the same tangle, but it's just really, really neat. Whoa. Can you move it up a little bit, Heather? Yes. There we go. Is that good? I think on my screen it's different than maybe on what other people are seeing. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I okay, couldn't good. see the names at the bottom. Oh, okay. Right. There's There's not 20 people on there. Where are you, other guys? <laughs> yes. Don't be chickens. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's right. So here's the, yeah, the, her, her camera, her, you were lucky, Brian, that you said something about having computer problems earlier. Uh. Oh, some people are just watching. 
Okay. And then some people are chicken. Okay. <laughs> it's just amazing. I mean, not only um, what everybody did with them, but it's just amazing what, <clears throat> because you can change the shape a little. Yeah. How different they look and um, they all look good enough to eat. They do. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, and and, and I, yeah, say let's. I don't think yours look so much like braids. No, I don't. I no. don't see any. No, it looks. Um, it does look more like cashews. Yes. And yeah, Debbie. Deb, Deb, yeah, graffiti. I had mentioned that in the earlier session. There, yeah, it, the 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 puffiness and and that you see that like you know when you're watching the train go by and you see all this gorgeous graffiti. I always when I see that I think, what wasted talent. Jen's, who is Zen with Jen, are so mm -hmm. puffy. They look like um, fancy dinner rolls. They like, do. You know, where you twist that like a knot. Yeah. What? What? They're so I, here. Oh, I got yours now. So here. We haven't had supper yet. That's why everything <laughs> looks like food to me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah. Um. Well, here, let me let me stop the screen share so everybody can see. So here's I is I, I don't want to. Um, I haven't saved this one yet. And I don't want to paste over it. But look at I like that in the heart shape. That is so neat. Oh yes. So neat. Oh, and I like your shading on the one in in the box there too. They're just gorgeous. Oh yeah, and then then yeah, then the other one's like an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome oh man so neat all right and let me go back and share that share this again and I'll, yeah so i'll get that on there um but yeah they all do look good enough to eat and um they and jen's they almost depending on that they almost look like a circle especially when you put the rounding in you know, just looking at the outer edge, just some of them, and it just looks so, so neat. But very, very cool. I like Deb's with the tri triangular. Yeah. I I would get kind of lost. I guess you have to look at each one separately. Yeah. Well, that's what it's like, yeah, doing this, it's, yeah. Yeah, and you yeah, you did have to look at each individual section and then it's just doing that the curve line and then round you're rounding all of the other you're rounding all of the edges and then oh and the two um uh oh let's look at that Debs. Um you can round on this where is my other one? Round on so where that curve line comes down, if you round out the other side too. So, you know, this is the curve line coming in, but then you round on that other side. So that helps to make that even more pronounced, the, the whole shape. Oh, cool. And I like Shulamit's, they look, they, I don't know why it's making me think of like fortune cookies. It, it, it doesn't, but it, it makes me think of that. I don't know why. Maybe it's the red. But they're a neat, neat shape so cool so cool well, let me Very let me at least take my to the recording <laughs>